Recently, leaked highly classified Pentagon documents have caused concern among US officials who fear that sensitive sources and important foreign relationships could be compromised. The documents provide insight into US intelligence gathering methods on both allies and adversaries, including eavesdropping on countries such as South Korea, Israel, and Ukraine. Some of the leaked information also reveals the extent of US penetration into the Russian Ministry of Defense and the Wagner Group, which could now be endangered due to intercepted communications and human sources. The leaked information revealed several vulnerabilities in Ukrainian weaponry and air defense systems, exposed backdoor arms deals between Egypt and Russia, Israeli spy agencies allegedly working against the country's elected leaders. Additionally, the leaked documents shed light on internal security deliberations in South Korea. The documents also highlight security risks posed to the US by China, including China's agreement to supply lethal weapons to Russia and its secret hypersonic ICBM, which can evade US. However, the Pentagon leak are arrested. As per reports, Jack Teixeira is the person behind leaking hundreds of classified Pentagon documents, which included a range of topics relating to the war in Ukraine, China, the Middle East, and Africa. The exposure of classified documents has revealed the noteworthy progress made by China in its hypersonic program, with the most surprising revelation being the covert testing of the DF-27 ICBM, which neither China nor the United States had disclosed to the public. The Washington Post has reported that a leaked classified document from the US reveals that China had conducted a test on February 25, 2023, using its newest experimental missile, the DF-27 ICBM, which flew for 12 minutes covering a distance of 1,300 miles or 2,100 kilometers, and has a high likelihood of penetrating American ballistic missile defense systems. In a previous Defense Department report in 2021, it was said that the DF-27 missile had a range of 5,000 to 8,000 kilometers. This means that the missile can target any place in East or Southeast Asia and a large part of the Pacific region, including Guam, which has important U.S. military installations. In addition to its increased range, the new missile has a hypersonic glide capability, allowing it to evade American and Allied missile defenses and making it a more potent carrier killer than its predecessors. Notably, information regarding the new hypersonic missile is limited, but some prior reports have categorized the DF-27 as a third-generation strategic nuclear weapon, similar to the DF-41. The reports also noted that the DF-27 with hypersonic glide capability could prove to be a formidable challenge in the event of a potential invasion of Taiwan. If China can effectively target American ships and military forces in Asia, it would make it harder and more expensive for any allied forces to intervene and defend Taiwan. China's military might is not confined to the DF-27 missile. The nation's armed forces are strengthening at an alarming pace as they expand their presence in the Pacific Islands, militarize further portions of the South China Sea, and construct a formidable Blue Water Fleet. Besides, China is undertaking the most massive nuclear buildup since the end of the Cold War and modernizing its nuclear weapons program by adding various types of nuclear weapons in vast quantities, unlike anything seen in previous years.